Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Writer's Block Workshop. My name is Joe Applebaum, CEO of Evi AI, and I'm constantly coming up with new ideas for posts for LinkedIn. So today I'm going to answer your questions related to Writer's Block and how to overcome Writer's Block. And also I'm going to teach you some ways that you can come up with an unlimited amount of content for your personal brand. If you guys are ready in the chat, just write ready. If you're watching the replay in the comments, write ready so that I know that you exist. I want you to engage with me. The more you engage with me, the more likely you are to be able to do, to have success. So we have something called an idea generator inside Evi AI. If you guys haven't used the idea generator yet, I highly recommend you use it. So if you ever, if you ever stuck with writer's block, it's not because there's a lack of ideas. It's often for a variety of different reasons. Would you like me to tell you the different reasons why people have writer's block? It's not because the idea, it's not because you don't have ideas, because if you need ideas, you just go to the idea generator in Evi AI. You put any topic, for example, LinkedIn, you press generate ideas and it's going to generate ideas for you. If you need other ideas, you can go to Socrates, Socrates answers right over here. You put in any topic. In my case, I'm going to put in, um, LinkedIn sales navigator. I'm going to press generate ideas. It's going to show me all the Google trends. It's going to show me all the questions that people ask. Look at this. It's an unlimited amount of ideas here, right? So ideas is not the issue. If you need more ideas, you go to answer the public. Have you guys heard of answer the public? It'll give you unlimited amount of ideas here, you know, digital marketing, or let's say personal development. I'm going to press search and it's going to give me an unlimited amount of ideas related to personal development in many different formats. So again, if you're looking for ideas, ideas are all over the place. I mean, you could even go to Quora. Have you guys heard of Quora? Quora is the questions that people are asking. You can go to Reddit. The questions that people are asking is an unlimited amount of places to get ideas and inspiration. But the issue is not that. That is not the problem with writer's block. Can anyone guess in the chat what is the issue with writer's block? Because Greg hasn't posted in four months. And it's an embarrassment that he hasn't posted in four months. He's a thought leader. And I, and I looked this morning and I was like, well, you guys need to have a post every day on LinkedIn. I want you to get unblocked. So what's the issue? Why are people blocked? Well, let's look at the post that I wrote about writer's block. Let's look at the post and see what I wrote here. I wrote specific reasons why people have writer's block. And here are the reasons. Perfection, fear of failure, lack of inspiration, burnout, time pressure, self-doubt, distractions, lack of structure, changes in routine. All these are reasons of why it happens. But I always say you have reasons or you have results. So I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you get over each one of these issues right now, and I'm gonna use a Miro board to help you do that. Now you're gonna be like, what the hell is a Miro board, Joe? What the hell are you talking about here, Miro board? What are, you, what are you nuts? What are you nuts, Joe? What are you crazy? Coming up with Miro boards and stuff? All right, let's see what this is. I'm going to go here. I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to click a new board. I'm going to click plus over here where it says more apps. And then you can choose things like, for example, sticky capture. You can choose. There's so many different options for things that you're going to create over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to create a mind map here. Um, and you can create any type of mind map that you want. You see that? Go here add to board and I have a mind map here and in this mind map I can auto generate the content here that I want using artificial intelligence um, or I can just paste them in one at a time so in this case I'm just going to paste all this in and I'm going to have AI turn this into something a product brief I'm going to say custom prompt I'm going to say create a mind map with the reasons why people have writer's block. And I'm going to paste this. I'm going to press generate document. Let's see what it does. Mind map reasons that people have writer's block. Okay. Let's see what it does. It's kind of writing it all out, but it's not actually generating the, the mind map. It's because I clicked document by accident on top here instead of creating diagram on top. Let's do this here. Let's click on diagram now. I'm going to say create a mind map, create a die. Oh, mind map right here. I selected the wrong one. Create a mind map 
about why about why people have writer's block. I'm gonna hit generate diagram. You're all out of AI credits. Oy vey. Oy vey. All right. Let's see. Business is sixteen dollars. It gives me unlimited private and secure team boards. Single team with unlimited boards. Which one do we need? Do we need sixteen dollars a month? Let's see. Or do we need ten dollars a month? Which one do you think we need? Twenty-five credits per month, fifty credits per month per member. It okay, will do fifteen. We'll do this one. Now it wants me to pay a hundred and ninety-two dollars. Oh, I love this. I love spending money on these tools. You know why I love spending money on these tools? Do you guys know why I love spending money on these tools? Can anyone guess? So, so you you can try it out and 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 advise us, which is working. Yeah, so I can do it and advise you. What other reasons do I love spending money on these tools? Anyone have a reason? Other reason? You, you learn about what other people are doing. Exactly. I learn, about, I learn about what other people are doing. Any other reasons? Now let's imagine we're on an HR team. We'll process okay. for all of our Let's imagine we're on an HR team. And what? Does anyone know why I pay for these tools? They're useful. They're useful. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. The reason why I pay for these tools is because people that pay, pay attention. I'm putting my money where my mouth is, and I'm investing in tools that will change my life and that will change the life of countless people. But I have to have, I have to pay for things in order for th to get the results that I want. Okay, so let's see if it'll do it. Uh, um, let's see, control A, I'm gonna click on this little mind map thing over here. I'm going to create a custom prompt. I'm going to say create a mind map about why people have writer's block. I'm going to paste this. I'm going to paste uh, mind map, mind map. Okay. What's going on over here? Why is it not? Oh, it disappeared again. I'll do this again. Create a mind map about why people have writer's block. And I'm gonna paste the reasons. I'm gonna press generate diagram. Let's see if it does it this time. I paid you the money, all right? I paid you the money. Take my money and run. Okay, look at this. Let's zoom in here and see why. Ooh, look how nice it made it. You see this? Look how nice it made it. So I can have, now check this out, guys. You ready for this? This is gonna blow your mind. This is why I paid for this. Are you ready for this? I'm going to click on, so which one of these resonate the most with you, Greg? We're going to work with Greg real quick. Greg, perfectionism, lack of inspiration, timing pressure, distractions, changes in routine, fear of failure, burnout, self-doubt, or lack of structure. Which one of these? I think uh, fear of failure and self-doubt. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to change, we're going to make these a different color over here. Okay, so we can select none. We're going to make this a circle. You see that I changed this color and self-doubt. Which one is self-doubt? Right here, self-doubt. We're going to also make this a circle here. Okay, so we have two. We have fear of failure and self-doubt. You see these? I colored these in to, to make it clear. Now check this out. Check this out. I'm going to go here. I'm going to select fear of failure. I'm going to click on the plus sign here. And I can add something else related to fear of failure, like how to solve it. But if I don't want to do that, instead I want to use, I'm going to delete this. Instead I want to use the AI. I'm going to click on the little AI button. And over here, I'm going to say expand with questions, expand with ideas, or expand with topics. So I'm going to click expand with questions, okay? And now what it's going to do is it's going to generate questions for me to ask you. So how does fear of failure contribute to writer's block? What role does the ego play in preventing people from writing? What are ways, well, what ways does fear of failure hinder creativity? What, how can the, the uh, fear of failure be overcome to combat uh, writer's block? What are some specific strategies or techniques that can help uh, overcome writer's block? So now I'm going to I'm going to help you with this in a second, but let me just click here and do ideas or topics, expand with topics. Just to kind of show you that I could expand with topics as well. Okay? So these are questions, these are topics, and then we're Does anybody else want to volunteer to pick a, a third one here? We need one more three number 3 so I can do uh ideas. Anyone want to volunteer? Uh, perfectionist, perfection. Perfectionist, Steve. What was yours? I saw you raise your hand. 
I'll go with timing pressure. Timing pressure. Okay, so we'll do two more. All right, so now we're going to do this one. We're going to click here. And this one, we're going to do uh, ideas. Okay, so we generated some ideas over here. And if you want to move the whole thing, you can move it away. And you can have unlimited space. You just move over all the way to the top here. You see, I'm just moving all the way to the top. Okay, and then timing pressure. We're going to do timing pressure, and we're going to uh, click on this. No, we're going to delete that. There's nothing there to... There's nothing there. Delete. I'm going to select it. I'm going to click on the AI button. And I'm going to translate this to Spanish. Just kidding. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna do questions on this one here because I like questions. All right? And it's going to break it down. But do you see what I'm doing over here? Do you guys see what I'm doing? Okay. So let's talk about one of these issues at, at a time. Fear of failure. Greg, how does fear of failure stop you from posting on LinkedIn on a regular basis, of having content regularly on LinkedIn? I, I think I just worry that what I post won't be relevant. Nobody will care. Not important. That kind of thing. Okay, what even about, though I think, it's, even though about, I think it's very. Yeah, but what if, what about if you posted? So so you're. It sounds like the motivation of why you're posting is for other people. Uh -huh. Perhaps, yeah. So why don't we why don't we optimize that motivation? Right, head and out, huh? Why don't we optimize Cynthia, why don't we optimize that motivation? What guys, can you suggest motivations for Greg? Other motivations outside of other people? What so part of part of my challenge, Joe, you know this, right? I mean I'm I'm sort of switching. Everything's switching for me, right? My whole focus of my business is switching to, to Raver. Life life keeps switching all the time, but that's just a reason. That's an excuse for why you're not perfect or why you don't want to fail or why whatever. You have thoughts in your head that you want to share. You are a thought leader. You have important things that you want to share with the world, regardless of if you're working for Raver or you're running around in, in Times Square in your underwear. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which one. You are a human being. You're out there. And you have things to share as an entrepreneur, as a multi-million dollar entrepreneur, as a very successful person, as a divorced dude like me. There's a lot of a lot of roles that you have in your life, a lot of roles that you play in your life, a mentor, a technology leader, all the different things that you have going on in your life that you can share things about on LinkedIn. And so my opinion and my advice to you, if you want to overcome writer's block, is change the reason why you're posting on LinkedIn. Don't post to impress people. Instead, have a goal to post for the sake of posting on LinkedIn, to, to be able to have uh, self-expression and thought leadership. Forget about, oh, uh, you, know, I, you know, the pressure of like, uh, how is it going to generate business? How am I going to make money of it? What are people going to think? Blah, 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 blah. Add value to yourself. You know what I do when I post on LinkedIn? I'm posting on LinkedIn so that I can go back and read my post and, and be like, damn, son. Damn, son, for myself. I got to go back and watch this video over here. By the way, guys, wa let's watch this video real quick just to kind of give you an idea of the type of content that I want to see for myself. I just shared the post with you. Go ahead, give it a like, drop a comment on it. This video right over here, I'm going to stop sharing my screen for just a second just to make sure my audio is turned on. Uh, okay, my audio is turned on now. Check this out. Check out this video. Have you ever wondered the best way to name your offer? There's a concept I read in the book called $100 Million Offers called the Magic Headline Formula. And I want to break it down for you. Magic is M-A-G-I-C. Now, I need to hear this. Did you guys hear it? Was it a little low for you? I was, I was hear it. You I heard it. it. I got this, it. This is a very, very powerful video that's a two-minute and 45-minute video that I created today about five minutes before this session started. I kid you not. It took me two minutes. I didn't even watch the video yet, but I want to go back and watch this video. The reason I, I created this is so that I could remind myself to create better headlines. And so I said, I'm going to post this on LinkedIn so I can have a reminder to go back and do this later. With, writers, with, with the writer's block thing, I needed to know what to talk about. And so I wrote a post to know what to talk about in today's session because I know we have issues. And so I did a little bit of research. I wrote this post. I invited people to it. Is anyone going to show up? I don't care. I don't care if nobody shows up. That's not the point. The point is I want to know why I have writer's block sometimes. 
I want to know why my clients experience writer block sometimes. And these are all the different reasons. If you're stuck on perfectionism, or I'm going to pull it up here so it's easier. If you're stuck on fear of failure, if you're stuck on self-doubt, all that is just related to you not surrendering to what is. You're not surrendering to what is. Now, there are other issues like time pressures, lack of inspiration, burnout. There are other issues. But if we're going to say perfectionism, fear of failure, self-doubt, all those are related to the ego. All those are related to us trying to impress other people. Do you get it? Stop trying to impress other people because other people's opinions are none of your business. Stop with that. If you want likes, post. If you want comments, post because our community, the Engaged Thought Leaders community, is here to engage with you. We're here to support you. Even if your post is shitty, we'll still support you. I promise you, Greg, I'll leave a comment. Even if you have a crappy-ass post, even if you fall on your ass, we'll support you. And if you need ideas for what to post about, no problem. Go to Evie AI, use the idea generator, pick any of these ideas that you get, click generate posts. It'll write a hook, main points, call to action, and hashtags for you, just like that. And within 10 seconds, you'll have a post that was done for you. You could spend 5, 10 minutes optimizing it, making it better, making it more you, changing it. And then you go, you're done. Look, the post was done. You don't want emojis? Strip the emojis. You want to make it better? Tell it how you want to make it better here in the command, and it'll make it better. My point is, what's my point? Greg, what am I, selling? What am I saying right here? <coughs> Rhonda, what are you hearing? Did you go ask Stephanie? Just post. Just post something, for gosh sakes. Post something. Post a picture of yourself. Post introduction. And by the way, we have a challenge that we're doing inside our school community. So we actually have a challenge that we're doing. So if you go into our community and you go down, you'll see that we have a five-day challenge that I want you all to be part of this month. And it's not too late to join the five-day challenge. So how do you find the challenge? Challenge. You just search challenge in the community. April five-day challenge, August posting challenge. Are you in? This is the August posting challenge right here. And all of you should be writing at least five posts related to these things. So what are they? Introduction, introduce yourself. Gratitude, share something you're grateful for. Mission statement, talk about a mission that you're on that you're passionate about. Accomplishment, highlight something that you've accomplished in the past year. That's it. And then you could pre-schedule your stuff. You can mention five people. You can have gratitude for your network. Day five is gratitude for your network. Do you see that? You do this, yep. this will change your life. If you do these five posts, these five posts you can use every month for the rest of your life over and over and repurpose it in different ways. Now, you might say, Joe, I don't like these five posts. I don't want to do these five posts. Okay. Well, then do the 555 framework. The 555 framework, it's right here. Just search 555 in the group and you'll find it. I have a whole video on how it works. What's the 555 framework about? Pick five topics that resonate with your personal brand and you want to find out what they are. Just answer the questions in this, vid in this uh, article. I wrote a very, very big article that I sent out to 11,000 people uh, on Monday. And I did this while I was on video. I literally wrote the whole thing while I was in the class, in the most recent uh, Evergreen Networking class. I wrote the whole thing. And I even made a video about the, vid about the article, and I put the video about the article that I already published in the article. And you'd be like, how the hell did you add a video about the article into the article? It's almost like Inception. But I did it, and I posted it on YouTube too. And you guys saw exactly how I did it if you were in that class. And if you didn't, catch a replay. So here are questions that you can ask yourself, and I have dozens of questions. What are your top three professional skills? And by the way, in the chat right now, tell me, what are your top three professional skills? Or what are three professional skills? You could always strip the word top if you don't want to say. What are three skills you have? Put them in the chat right now. I'm curious to know. What are three skills you have? So for me, strategy. I'll put one. I'll put ideas. I'll put marketing. I'll put networking, prospecting, leadership. Look at that. Greg wrote empathy, vision, and leadership. I love that. Guys, put your, put your stuff. Steve said business growth, exit M&A planning, strategy, transformation, leadership. Rhonda said strategy, profile writing, branding, marketing. Love that. So you all can answer these questions. Every one of you can answer these questions. Cynthia said promotion, strategy, and networking. Love that. What specific knowledge or expertise do you have that sets you apart from others? What are your core beliefs? What are your principles? You see this? You answer these questions in this framework, and then you can drop it in as a mind map here, and you can create unlimited amounts of content, unlimited amounts of content and ideas. The question is not do you have unlimited account amounts of content. The question is what's your issue with your ego? 
What's your issue with your self-doubt, perfectionism, or fear of failure? That's going to be big. Now, burnout, distractions, changes in routine, time pressures, all those will create issues for you. Lack of structure, I just gave you the 555 framework. 555 framework. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to write the 555 framework over here. So that one's, this one you have the 555 framework over here. Burnout, if, you're, if you have burnout and lack of inspiration, we can talk about that if anybody's ish, if, uh, doing that. If you have distractions, we can talk about organization. If you have changes in routine, we can talk about that as well. I think that's related to time pressures. So we'll cover time pressures in just a moment. But I want to I want to make it clear if anybody has these three issues and it's not resolved for you if you still have issues around this around ego then let's talk about that. You know, I want you guys to know something crazy. I'm going to stop sharing my screen for a second because I want to say something that really may may hit home to some of you. And to some of you you'd be like, "What are you talking about?" Okay, let me make my screen big real here. I'm ready for it real quick here. Um let me okay, I'm not going to make my big screen my screen big. I'm just going to talk here. I want you to know the following. We all have voices in our head. This is something that people are like, what are you talking about? What voice in your head? That's the voice I'm talking about. The voice that says, we all, what voice? We all have a voice in our head, and that voice is usually not us. It's our father, our mother, our siblings, our ex-wife, our neighbor. They're voices. We just have voices. That's not who we are. That's not who you are. You want to know who you are? Find out what's behind the voice. What's the one that's listening to the voice? You have something else that's much greater than your voice that is behind the voice that the voice sometimes tries to control. And if you can step back from the voice and the noise and you start taking action and you become unreasonable and you start sharing your thoughts and sharing your ideas and sharing your mission and sharing your values and putting yourself out there even though some people might not like it, even though it's not popular, even though you're afraid of failure, even though it's not perfect. You know how many times I sent emails to people and I had typos and people responded? I love the message, but the typos ruins it for me. I had to deal with that. It was painful for me. I didn't want to send the message anymore. Now with AI, there's almost such a thing as typos anymore. Typos don't exist with AI. Now there's corporate jargon <laughs> instead that you have to deal right. with. But the point is, authentic messages from your heart will reach other people to their heart. So don't worry about perfectionism because nobody's perfect. In nature, variety is the spice of life. You go into nature, nothing is perfect there. The trees aren't perfectly aligned. That's what you see in, 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 in the White House. Everything is perfectly aligned. In politics, things are aligned. But in nature, you know, there's broken trees, there's streams, there's leaves everywhere. It's a whole big mess, right? It's chaos. But that chaos is life. That's what it is. And so you need to put yourself out there in a way that represents your personal brand, where you have a brand, that you define it based on your goals, your vision, your mission, your skills, all the different things I write in the 555 framework. But what I want you to know is that if you're allowing the voice to stop you from showing up, then you're not attached to your highest self. And instead, you're basically worshiping your ego. I call it Avoida Zara. Avoida Zara. It's your ego. You're etching God out. Instead of tapping into godliness, instead of tapping into the universe, you're etching it out, and you're worried about staying safe instead of just being of service to other people. Let me tell you something. There's a woman that wrote a paragraph that really touches my heart very, very much, and it's about your who are you not to shine. Has anybody ever read that before, who are you not to shine? I'm going to ask uh, Claude because I love Claude. I'm in love with Claude. Uh, I'm going to say, who wrote, who are you not to shine uh, about uh, self-expression? Okay, let me pull that up, and let's read it together. Let's read it together. I'm going to share this th thing here. Our deepest fear, that's it's called our deepest fear. I can't reproduce the, oh, my God, it can't reproduce it? Well, let's see if ChatGPT can reproduce it. Okay, let's see. Claude can't reproduce it. Okay, here you go. ChatGPT doesn't care about copyright, apparently. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> did you see what Claude did? Claude yeah. literally said, I can't tell it to you. I can't say it. Okay, our deepest fear <laughs> is not that we're inadequate. 
Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God, and your playing small does not serve the world. Now, there's more to that. There's more to that. But I, what I want you to know, I want you to emphasize that last part, especially Greg, who's such a beautiful light. You have so much to share, so much to shine, and you're hiding you're hiding behind fear of failure. You're hiding behind perfectionism. You're hiding behind the stuff that, again, I, I, it's not bad to hide. It's not a bad thing. There's no judgment in hiding. It's just not empowering. It's just not empowering not to share yourself through video, through audio, through text, through polls, through events, through live. Do you know how many times I used to squirm when I went on LinkedIn Live and nobody showed up? And I got over it. And now I go on live and I don't care if anybody doesn't show up because I'm on LinkedIn Live making a difference for people on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And then I have my video guy repurpose it later because it's not for him. It's not for them. It's for me. I want you to share for you. Self-expression is a human need. As a matter of fact, self-expression is a basic human need. We need to express ourselves. And when we don't, we eat. We take drugs. We gamble. We do things that are bad for us because we're trying. We have energy that's stuck inside us that we need to express some way. And LinkedIn is a great way to express that energy. Okay, it's okay. A difference right. for other people. So what? So okay. But, but you the, got me. How often will you write? I'll start today. I'll start today, and every day you will post something. You won't stop. You will start, and you won't stop. And if you hear the voice in your head, you will read High Energy Purpose. I wrote the whole book about overcoming that and tapping into your purpose. You have a purpose. Yes, uh, this morning, I had a conversation with a guy. He said, Joe, I made millions of dollars and lost millions of dollars multiple times. I bought a multi-million dollar house in Crown Heights in cash. I then renovated the house with cash. And he's like, now I have no money. He's like, but I'm not afraid because I know I made millions and millions and millions. But he's like, Joe, I need your help. And I said, I'm happy to help you. And he said, well, I don't have money to pay you. I said, join my community. I have a school community called school.com slash AI automation. It's $97 a month. If you can muster $97, I know you're serious. And so I said, I'll teach you for free. Listen to my LinkedIn lives. But if you want a structured approach, and you want to meet with me weekly, and you want to learn AI automation, and you want to learn LinkedIn automation to generate your next million dollars again, I said, just join it. And he said, okay, I'm going to join it. Send me the link, and he'll join it. What I'm telling you right now is that if I didn't do that LinkedIn Live and he was the only one that showed up, I wouldn't be able to change this guy's life and help him with his seven kids. Do you understand what I'm saying right now? I changed somebody's life this morning. I gave them, I'm going to be giving him access to be able to generate his next million dollars so he can marry off his seven kids because that's his goal. He wants to marry off his seven kids, but he doesn't have money right now, but he knows he's going to make it. He just needs a conduit of blessing, and I want to be that conduit of blessing, and it happened because I did a LinkedIn Live, and he's the only one that showed up. Let that be a lesson to you. Post something of value online, not so you can make money. I'm not here to make money. I'm here to add value. I make a lot of money, but I don't make money because I make money. I make money because I add value, and my goal is to add value, and I want you to make money too but I want you to focus on adding value first, making a difference for people. And sometimes people are gonna have opinions about you. They're gonna say, you did it wrong. They're gonna say, you're not good. And instead of pushing that away and running away from it, listen to it and say, okay, I'm willing to learn. I screw up, I'm not perfect. That's my attitude. My attitude is I'm not perfect. I'm not, I'm beyond not perfect. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't have showed up to today's meeting if I didn't have an assistant pull me in. I was busy talking to a task rabbit that I hired to organize my living room because there's chaos. You get what I'm saying? I would have never made it here if I didn't have systems and processes and structures. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about structure because that's another issue that people have. Can we talk about that for a minute? Write structure yep. in the chat if you want to talk a little bit about structure for, for writing. And I'll tell you yes. the method that I used that changed my life completely and how I wrote five books. So lack of structure. Let's zoom in. By the way, I love this. The reason why I just paid $160 for this tool or whatever, $190 for this tool, is because it gave me so much it gave me so much life. This tool has given me so much life. Just with the free three Miro boards that I squeezed the lemon of that. I squeezed the life out of this Miro board. I just put a bunch of sticky notes and it organized it into little 
into little sections of what it, what what the sticky notes were about. I just randomly put sticky notes and it just I hit organize it and it organized it in five different ways in seconds. Like it, I'm going to do a separate class just on this with AI. It's just crazy. As a matter of fact, check this out. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here and I'm going to create a, a, a LinkedIn mind map. I don't have to create it because I already created it. <laughs> I've been working on it. But look at this. Look at this insanity. Every possible topic about this. About, like, th this is insane. And this is just one of many, of many. This is my personal brand here I'm working on, Joe Applebaum's content. Look at this. Look at This is insane. This is crazy about all the different topics I have for my 555 framework. When I'm done with this, I'm going to turn this into a lead magnet. You see that? I talk about AI automation, marketing strategy, uh, business networking. So I'm going to give you guys this framework and teach you how to do this. But check this out. Sales prospecting, business, personal development. This is not rocket science. We can do this very, very quickly and get our content out and get all our topics out and get everything we need out of our system. But we need a structure. So I'm going to tell you about the structure. Write structure in the chat if you want to hear the structure. I want to see if anybody wants to hear the structure. Structure, structure, structure. I register for Miro. I will start to, by the way, register for a free account. Use the AI credits up. I used it to the lemon. I squeezed the lemon out of it. I squeezed the lemon out of it before I paid. Go ahead, Eric. What'd you say? You wanted to say something? You want to play some guitar for us? What do you want to do? Nothing? Okay. All right, here we go. Structure, structure, structure. I register for Miro. Structure, structure. Okay. I need to drop off now. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Ganesh. This is what I want you to know. If you don't have a schedule for what you do every single day, you're going to be all over the place. So structure starts with something called time boxing. I, I used to hate calendars. I used to hate, hate schedules. Hate. I thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to be creative. Wrong. If you don't have a calendar, you're not going to make time to be creative. You've got to be creative within a, a, a box. And sometimes it means getting somebody else to brainstorm with you, to work with you, or to watch you work. So ADD, if you have ADD, if you're an entrepreneur, write ADD in the chat. I have ADD. I'm not officially ADD, but like, you know, I, you know I'm, I'm, I go off, you guys hear me. I go off tangents. I talk quick. I'm very passionate. Like I get lost in the rabbit hole. That, that just happens. I may have ADHD, a combination of ADHD and some mental illness, whatever. We all have <laughs> something, we all, right? We all have something going on with us. And it's, it's not a bad thing. It's just how our brain works. So sometimes you need someone to watch you work. Good. My ex-wife hated the fact that I needed someone to watch me do something in order for me to do it. Just literally, there's science behind this. Go do the research. There's science behind having somebody watch you work. So getting somebody to volunteer to sit over your shoulder and watch you do something will motivate you to do something. So part of that is me hiring people to watch me work. So I go on Upwork, I'll hire someone, I'll be like, hey, let's work together, let's co-work together. It's called co-working. Let's co-work together on this. And then they, they meet me at a certain time, so I have to show up. Dimitri's waiting for me in the waiting room. You know what I mean? I have to show up. And then Dimitri's just sitting there with his Russian accent, you know, asking me questions or just like I'm showing him things and we're getting things done and I want to be productive because I'm paying him. Do you get what I'm saying? And then I have Roman. And then I have uh, Trianne, and I have a bunch of people that I can't run away from because I'm paying them to show up to watch me work, which is an insane idea, but it's an idea. So if you have trouble working, get somebody to watch you work, get someone overseas, it is not a lot of money, and work with them. Or find an accountability buddy, a partner, someone to work with. So that's part of structure. Schedule it in your calendar. Time box it in. You have to schedule in creativity, otherwise it's not going to work. You have to schedule getting organized. That's something you have to spend an hour every single week getting your week organized, or sometimes three hours. Sometimes you have to do it with somebody else. you got to get organized. And then you need to make time to create content every single day. But when you're writing, if you actually want to be a writer, if you actually want to write yourself, like the art of writing instead of the art of prompting, then you need to go for a certain amount of word count every single day. You need to do a certain amount of word count every day. So how many words do you write a day? That's the question you need to ask yourself. And then you got to say, I'm going to write X amount of words from this time till I get to that word count. And I'm going to show you how to find the word count on Microsoft, on, um, on Google Drive. Okay, so I'm going to go into Google Drive. I'm going to create a new document right now. And I'm going to share my screen and show you how that works. Okay, 
So I'm in Google Drive right over here. So there's a couple different ways that you can do this. You can do it through voice. So for example, you can do it through voice. I like typing, but if you don't like typing, you just click on where it says tools and you can click on voice typing. You see this says voice typing? So voice typing. Now I want you to get to 2,000 words every day. That is, if you want to be a writer, you need to have 2,000 words a day out of your system. If you don't have 2,000 words a day, Stephen, Stephen King says you're not a writer. So if you want to consider yourself a writer, that's the minimum you have to do every day by hook, by hook or by crook. Okay, you with me? 2,000 words a day. So let's do this and let's see how long it takes for me to get 2,000 words out of my system. You ready? Today, I did a fantastic research project called the Writer's Block Workshop. Well, actually, it wasn't a research project. Instead, it was a seminar. And the seminar that I did was to a bunch of my clients that I, what I wanted to do is teach them how to overcome writer's block. What I found is that a lot of people have issues with their ego, and that ego stops them from being able to be successful. The thing is, personally, I used to have a massive ego, and I used to be afraid of all the other people's opinion, and I thought I was much greater than I was, and I was like, what? A CEO is going to go become a LinkedIn trainer? What the hell's wrong with me? I don't know, but the fact is there were a bunch of voices in my head that were stopping me from being successful. And when I got over that, what I realized is that all those voices are not me. So why am I listening to those voices if they're not me? Instead, what I need to do is tap into my purpose. And the purpose that I have in my heart is to really help other people. The secret to living is giving. I love blessing people. I love making a difference. And I want to be a conduit of blessing for other people. And so what I do now is I put myself out there every single day. I've written 10,000 posts on LinkedIn. And what I want to do is help more people. I want to help a million people use LinkedIn effectively. And sometimes you need artificial intelligence to help you. But that's not the point. The point is to get out there, to make a difference, to support people, and to make sure that you overcome your writer's block. So one of the things that I tell all the people in my network is change the way that you do things. Have a structure. Make sure that you have an accountability buddy. Make sure that you're writing 2,000 words a day. Make sure that you're using all the tools that are available to you. And then count. If you want to be successful, you need to count. What gets, what gets measured gets done. And if you don't have an assistant, you are an assistant. Okay. Now let's just see how many words I just wrote. Okay. So guys, I did some voice typing over here. You guys watched me do this. I did not time it because timing is the worst. You don't want to be timing this. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to press tools. I'm going to press uh, tools, and I'm going to do word count. You see it says word count here? Mm -hmm. You guys see that? I'm going to click word count. 400 words. Okay, my goal is 2,000. So if my goal is 2,000, I need to do that how many more times? Five more times. Thank you. Approximately five more times because four times five is 20. Very good. But do you guys see? Do you guys see? So if I wanted to do this five more times, I can do this five more times. Copy. Paste. Paste, paste, paste. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. This is what it would look like when you were done writing. Now, you want to spend 15 minutes doing this? I just spent what? I don't know, a minute, let's just say, okay? I spent maybe two minutes, and I spoke very fast. And I have no idea what was coming out of my, I was coming out real fast. I have no idea what I was even talking about. Actually, as a matter of fact, let's go to Claude and ask it, what, what am I, what? What was I talking about? And sometimes you just do that. You write, what was I talking about? And then it says, based on your message, you're talking about this. And it breaks down what you were talking about. You get it? So you could literally talk to ChatGPT. And through the mobile app, ChatGPT allows you to talk to it like a regular human. And you get unlimited conversations with it. So if you're not doing this in the shower, what the hell are you doing? There's actually a specific setting that you can put in ChatGPT when you're talking to. Do you guys know how to do this? Or do you need me to share my phone and show you how to do it? Write share if you need me to share how to do it, or I'll make a separate video about it. I'll Let's make a see separate it. video. I'll put, oh, she want to see it in real time? Yeah, this is great. I need to do this right now. Okay, 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 okay. So let's do this. Let me share my, let me share my phone screen, my cell phone screen. So let me log in for my cell. I'm logging in for my cell. Sorry, guys, keep, uh, ask any questions if you have any questions. I'm logging in for my cell right now. Okay, so I just logged in. I just in. logged in. I'm going to mute, I'm gonna mute myself on the Okay, so I just muted myself here. Um, let's see. Can you see me? Yep. Oh, hello. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing that. I'm going to hit share my screen. And I'm going to hit... Am I recording this? Yeah, I am. Okay. Screen. And I'm going to hit start now. Okay. You see my screen? Yeah. Yep. Swipe up, chat GPT. There's a person in my front door. Who's in my front door? Okay, that's my ADD. Okay, so check this out. You see, you see this little message thing blinking? 
Yes. You see it blinking? So there are two things. On the right of it, there's a microphone. That microphone, when you click on it, it'll type words. Okay. Now there's also a microphone on the bottom left of the screen. You see it? Let me see what happens when I click on this. Ooh, I can annotate. Ooh, let's see. So I have, well, I have this. I, I have conversations with the little headphone thing all and the I time. Have this. Yes, that's the headphone thing. Yeah, we okay, talk so, a lot. Uh, so the headphone so there's a difference between this and this you guys get it mm -hmm. i'm gonna hit clear i'm gonna hit stop annotating i'm gonna push this to the left okay now i'm gonna try it oh but before i try it three dots um let's see not three dots click on that let's just see if i can oh three dots up here okay so you see this um, background conversation. You see that what I did there? So I got you again. I'll got you again. All right. So this is how you get to it. You need a tie. So sometimes, sometimes what happens is, let me mute myself on my phone. Oh, but then you're not going to hear what my phone's saying. Okay. Let me take my headsets off. If I'm going crazy, I'm hearing myself. Okay. Um, Sometimes what happens is things happen on your phone, like your phone, uh, your lock screen comes on or you're in your car, your Bluetooth takes over or something, and then your chat GPT stops working. It happens to me all the time. So to mm -hmm. avoid any of that from happening, what you want to do is you want to click on the three dots next to chat GPT on the left and then go with the three dots next to your name on the bottom right. You see on the bottom right, there's your name and three dots. My name, Joe Apple, I'm way bottom of the screen. I click on those three dots. And then if you scroll down, you can turn on background conversations under voice. You see that? It says voice background conversation. So you have to turn that on. If you turn that on, then ChatGPT will work even while you're doing other stuff on your phone. Or, you know what I mean? So, so the conversation will keep going. So let's have a conversation. Let's try it right now. You ready? You guys ready for this? Yep. Right ready in the chat if you're ready. This is going to be crazy. Watch this. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hello. Hi, are you there? ChatGPT? Oh, you know what? You might not be able to hear me because I'm on Zoom. Because I'm on Zoom on my phone. Can you hear me? Mic check one, two. Can you hear me? Oh, can't hear me. It's not hearing me because I'm on Zoom and Zoom is taking over the microphone concept or whatever. So if I uncheck it, I'll, I'll have to show you how it works by me. I've done videos on, on how I do this, but the idea is you would talk to it and it would respond right now, but it's not doing it because of Zoom. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm gonna stop it now and I'm gonna stop the Zoom, stop my, the share. Uh, my chat's listening to you, by the way. How a tool okay, excellent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... By interacting with it, but it's not responding. Leave. Because you're using Zoom. Are you trying to show my chat is listening to you, Joe? I have an idea. What I can do is I can share my phone with you guys just to show you how it works through Bluetooth. Okay. So let me connect through Bluetooth to my phone, to my computer. I'm connecting to Bluetooth now. Okay. Now we're on Bluetooth. Here we go. You ready? Let's go to ChatGPT again. Hello. Hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How can I help today? Okay, what I want to do is I want to know in one word, how do you say stop in Hebrew? In Hebrew, stop is said as atzor, pronounced atzor. Okay, can you help me brainstorm some ideas for content creation? I want to know, first of all, do you know Rhonda Schur, Steve Duke, and Eric Thornton? Uh, Thor Thorson, I'm sorry, I, sp I said his name wrong. And uh, also, tell me if you know Greg Boyd, and then help me brainstorm some ideas. I don't have specific details about Rhonda Schur, Steve Duke, 
Eric Thornton, or Greg Boyd, but I can certainly help you brainstorm content ideas. If you have any particular focus or goals you'd like to achieve with your content, I can tailor the ideas more specifically for you. To get started, could you tell me more about the audience you want to reach or the themes you want to explore? Yeah, I want to talk about writer's block. Um, could you give me three topics related to writer's block and why people typically have writer's block and how to overcome it? Certainly. Here are three topics related to writer's block, along with why people typically experience it and how to overcome it. Okay, I just stopped it. I just stopped the phone. From, do you guys see what just happened? I just had a conversation, and, I, and I'm in the shower. I put the phone outside the shower, and I'm showering, and I'm talking <laughs> to it about what I'm thinking about. It's insanity, 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 insanity. I go for a run. I come up with ideas. I talk to ChatGPT. I say, hey, help me brainstorm, organize these ideas into bullet points. Oh, I, 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 anything that I need. I just talk to it. It goes. It works. You guys get this? It sounds like you're really tapping in. Okay, now it was listening to what I said because I, I, turned, right. I turned it off. It says, like, it sounds like you're tapping into ChatGPT. I just turned. I was Does like, a transcript get generated, Joe? Oh, let me share my screen, show you the transcript in instantly. Let's go in here, go into ChatGPT, refresh. It's all here. Everything that I said was here. Sounds like you're tapping into the power of brainstorming in real time, wherever you are. It's amazing how technology can be so seamless, blah, blah, blah. I just stopped. I said I just stopped it, but I didn't. I just stopped the phone. You guys see what happened? I just had a conversation. <laughs> I'm in the shower. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It's not it's insane. Um, you know, like it, ideas after running. Look at these ideas. Look at these. This whole conversation is me in the shower. You see? Talking to it about the card layout and about this and about that and about whatever. It's just crazy. So my point is, um, you guys are inside this community. You guys, some of you, I think you guys are in this, not this community. You're in this community right here, okay? This is the community that you guys are in, okay? So if you're in this community here, the Engaged Thought Leaders community, and I have my assistant check to see if you guys posted, let's see, Writer's Workshop, are you coming? Uh, let's see what I wrote. Going to bat, AI and sales math, Writer's Block, members the past 24 hours, right here. Um, I'm going to send you guys this link here in the chat guys can get it so if you go in here click on that link I just sent you in the chat and then just write the fact this works for me because I'm gonna have one of the engagement managers check who actually posted in the past 24 hours and if you posted in the past 24 hours we're gonna write over here posted if you didn't I'm gonna say no new post past 24 hours and if you haven't posted in a week in a month or in four months it's gonna be public here so that's how we're gonna hold you accountable from now on so I want you guys to make sure that all of you have a new post every single day because I don't want writer's block to stop you from that. Steve, does this make sense? Yes. Yep. And if I go to your profile and I see there's no posts, I'm not even going to be the one holding you accountable. It's going to be my community manager. One of my community managers are going to jump in and do this every morning. So I just hire, I just, you know, we have three community managers that I pay to go and comment on your stuff. And if you want them to comment a specific way, tell them how you want them to comment. You know, they're getting paid to do this. This is not free. I pay them every single day. I'm paying them to show up. And so they're here to support you. And so make sure that you're doing stuff. Rhonda, it looks like you did post in the past 24 hours, which is great. But I want you guys to be more involved in the community, asking questions, getting involved. You see this? I'm going to give her a like. I'm going to drop a comment over here. You see Myla? She's one of our community managers. I'm going to press generate. Rhonda, your reflections on connection is truly inspiring. It's amazing how simple conversations can ignite our passions. I'm going to press comment, and I just left a comment for Rhonda. Now, just go in here and write this works for me. That's all. Just go in here and write this works for me. If you haven't done it, please do it. Greg, go ahead, do it. Write this works for me. You did it. Look, you said work in it. Yeah. Eric said great. Cynthia said great. That's awesome. Steve, if you can write this works for me, that would be awesome. That would be helpful. So people see you're inf involved. By the way, if you go in here into the community and you click on these, this little filter here, you don't have to see the recent activity for everything. 
you can just see the newest post. You can switch the filter here. If it's too confusing and you see everything about stuff from three months ago, just click on newest posts and you'll just see the newest posts instead of seeing just the latest comments on stuff. If there's, if there's a blue thing that says new comment, that means you've seen the post, but you haven't seen the latest comments. If there's a blue dot next to the post, like for example, I'll go here, and there might be a blue dot next to a post. You see this blue dot? This guy, Kish Rao, said hi. If there's a blue dot next to the post, that means you haven't seen the post yet. So I'm going to click on the post. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to like it. I'm trying to access the members-only training. And we're more than happy to assist you. Please email us, and we'll help you promptly. Thank you. It's in the Learning Center. But always email hello at eviai.com if you need access. Okay, so I just replied to that. Pretty cool, right? Um, so that's the idea. Any questions that you guys have so far? Cynthia said this works for me. I'm going to like it, like it, like it. Rhonda said like it. Okay, good. Um, and this way it'll make it easier for you. You don't have to go look at people if they post it, if they haven't posted. You know what I mean? It's annoying. Steve, raise his hand. Go ahead, Steve. Uh, just, uh, I, I imagine everyone knows this, but a, a helpful reminder for everyone. So, so I've been trying to be efficient at commenting on everyone's post and I buzz through it. And I like, like we all know, I try to make sure that the comment makes sense, but, uh, I commented on some semi-famous sales guys post and I got a message from him yesterday saying, Hey, what's the idea of uh, just copying, pasting Melita's, uh, uh, comment, which I didn't do, but apparently I didn't spend enough time to look at the other comments that were on, on the page. So just, just to beware everyone, be pay attention to that. And if you truly, truly want customized comments, if you truly want comments that nobody else can copy, watch the webinar that I just did on the 10 comment personas. I have personas here, 10 ways to train the AI. I have it over here. I have 10 ways to train the AI. There's a video here on, in the blog, 10 different ways to train the AI. I did webinars about it. I did tons and tons of stuff. I keep talking about this. But in your Evy AI, if you go to personas, you can add a persona called a comment bank persona. So I added, this is many different ones, but over here, I give it option one, option two, option three, and option four, specific comments that are custom tailored to me, things that I would say. And then I say, act as Joe Applebaum and pick one of the four following comments in any combination, and then feel free to add the author's name to the post and mix it up as you see fit. You see that? So instead of it writing some garbage related to whatever ChatGPT wants to do, it's going to do what I tell it to do, which is using either option one, two, three, four, or whatever, and it's going to kind of mix it up. So if there are specific words that you like to use, use this prompt. Build out this prompt for yourself. I'll pop it in the chat for you so you have it. Okay? And I'll also put it in the community so you have it. So if you go into our community right over here and you go into Evi is not responding, blah, blah, blah. How to influence it. Uh, what features of Evi do you love the most? Uh, let's see, Skerera. I'm going to say personas, prompts, search prompts. The prompts are important. Check out this prompt, leveraging AI templates. Um, what feature do you love the most? AI templates. I'm going to go here. Oh, let's see. I think it's the webinar. Just had the most amazing webinar. I'm going to look by most recent post. So you go to the community. Click on this little thing here. You do newest post. When you scroll down, you can see all the latest posts. Need a top voice badge, 555 framework. What topics do you want to post about on LinkedIn? So I'll do it on the, on the, um, on the one about what personas you want to create on it with AI. You see, I'll do it on this one. What personas do you want to create on AI from three days ago? So I'm going to go in here. I think I already put it here, but I'll put it in here again. Okay, and I'll send you guys a link to this so you have it in the chat. Um, but this is a great community of engaged LinkedIn users that you guys can invite your friends to. There's 382 people that are here, and this will give you inspiration for content. I'm always going to post tons of inspiration here. Also, in the Engaged Thought Leaders community, if you click on inspiration, we're going to have lots of inspiration that we're going to start posting here. So if you need inspiration, we're going to be posting it here. 
Rick posts inspiration very often. So definitely check the inspiration that he posts. But I'm going to be starting to post more inspiration. I'm actually doing a lot of research on viral tweets. I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a viral viral tweet library. Um, Twitter. I'm going to go to my drive. Let's see if I could quickly find a few Twitter accounts with viral content. So I was able to scrape a thousand viral tweets. You see this? These are all viral tweets that have gone viral some which way or form. So I'm going to start sharing inspiration like this inside our community so you guys can get th that inspo. If you guys like it, right, I like it in the chat. Right, I like it. So I'm going to click here, inspiration. Check out this viral tweet as inspo. I'm going to hit Control shift v Just remember that da 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 Um, and I'm going to click on GIF, and I'm going to say Inspo. I'm going to hit Post. Okay? So I'm going to put more inspiration over here on a regular basis so you guys can see if I see something that I like that's inspiring or a series of tweets, I'm going to put them in here that you can repurpose. You know what I'm saying? And if you find things that are inspiring, put them in there as well. Um, and then we're going to change the community a little bit to focus more on sharing things that are inspirational and supporting each other in that way. Um, and we have everything from discussions, inspiration, thought leadership, q and I'm constantly putting tips. Like I put the 555 framework in there, um, and we're going to do a lot more great things. I have networking one sheets, how can we support you, gratitude and wins, and stuff like that. So definitely go through these sub subcategories, and you'll get more uh, info in, in the thought leaders community. And as always, be part of your forum. You're in a forum. Your forum will help you overcome writer's block too. The reason we created these forums is for you to show up. So Greg, please show up to your forum. If you haven't showed up, you can reach out to Rick. You can reach out to Eric. Both of them have forums, and they meet twice a month. So you can be part of both forums if you want and just meet twice a month and then meet in the community that we're part of. So don't hide. Show up. Make sure to add value to people. And don't be afraid of posting something as a test. So 100 people will see it. Some people won't like it. You'll delete it after if you don't want it, but I don't recommend deleting anything. Just keep posting. Keep testing. Introduce yourself. Take the five-day challenge. Use the 555 framework. Start using Miro to brainstorm. And let's work together to support each other. What did you guys think of this uh, session? Rhonda, I see you shaking your head in agreeance. An agreeance. You want to unmute yourself and share what you got out of this today? Yeah, no, I loved it. I thought it was great. <laughs> I learned a lot. Okay. Super helpful, Joe. Awesome. I am trying to learn how to use Miro, Miro, whatever right now. Okay, great. I'm going to do a tutorial on it as well. And Steve, what about you? What do you think about this today? Awesome as usual. Just trying to keep up with you, Joe. Okay, great. Great. You know, like if you guys, if you guys, here's another idea. If you guys haven't posted anything in the past, go find one of my posts and just post that. Say here, I, I recently saw Joe Applebaum post this and I thought it was helpful for people. So here I'm posting it too. And literally verbatim copy what I posted. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with that. And I've posted 10,000 times in the past 15 years. 10,000 times. All right. Thank you very much everybody yeah. for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank you, time. Joe. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks, Joe. All right, bye. Bye.